it at my front. I'm just going to go mass Nidus network, break down your back door. I mean, does he even have... He's only just now getting speed. Uh-oh. Kane oh, wow. will be conspicuously placed. Overlord! Indeed. It's right there. It is definitely in vision. It is out of vision of Gosu user. However, Gosu user does have an overlord over that point. Yeah, so he should be doing it on low ground no matter what. He should not go into the main. That third is the target. He's going to the main. I don't like this. This is very, very, very risky. Gosu user not responding quickly enough, though, I don't think. Oh he, my god, does he see it? He's building spores! Oh no! This is oh, not no. the right option. He completely misread this situation. The Nidus is going to go up uncontested. And there it is. Oh no! Kane giving Ghost User a taste of his own medicine. The Nidus Network in the main base. Does Ghost User have any answer at all? I I am. We would be. I don't think spore crawlers are the answer. They might be powerful, but not against this. The and Nidus a Worm. Block. Oh no, this is a complete disaster area. Kane is now moving in with Banelings as well. He has control of the ramp. Oh god, the drones are on the run. The Banelings! Oh! <laughs> Devastating. Oh. An absolute catastrophe in the main base. Even if Ghost User can save his main, Kane will always be able to retreat back. Oh my gosh, Kane is looking very close to being the first finalist of Shoutcraft America. It really, really is. The supply of Ghost User falling rapidly right here. Lings come out. Oh, Roach has spawned right into a direct fantastic concave. The Nidus play went completely undetected. Unbelievable, really, when you think about the fact there was an Overlord right there. Was Ghost User looking for it on the low ground as you thought it would be? Was this a gigantic mind game here from Kane? Oh, Kane, just absolutely ingenious. Looks like Ghost User will be able to barely deflect it. Yep. The this thing is, is the Nidus is still there. And there's another wave of Roaches coming in. There's more reinforcements streaming in here as well. Kane backs off and is now able to put the aggression on. There's, of course, no mining here. He's not going to take the lair out. He might get it. Safe, conservative play. I like that. Yep. More Ghost roaches User coming in. Cannot choose his engagements. Ghost User just does not have roach speed. Oh, lovely concave right there by Kane. That was definitely not where Ghost User wanted to be. The roach count, of course, plummeting for Ghost User, but he does have that defender's advantage. However, that's almost negated by the fact that the Nidus Worm is there. And looks like Ghost User will be able to hold on to this. So this is definitely not game over as of yet. The Nidus will now be cleaned up. Unbelievable. It, now we have to figure out just how much damage was really done there. You know, it's it's a little ambiguous who is officially in the lead and who is officially behind. You know, I would say Kane's greatest advantage in all that is the 1-1 one -one upgrade starting much earlier than his opponents. And that's yeah. about it. Um, he can actually put on some direct frontal pressure with the Roaches. He doesn't need to stay defensive now because he has Roach speed. His opponent does not. Uh, and actually, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked to see Kane not trying to exploit that right now. That's actually very, very surprising. But Ghost yeah. User has gotten his third base up so early that he actually had drones to be able to lose. Yes, uh, he lost 24 drones. The units lost shows a massive advantage for Kane. However, you have to bear in mind exactly what you just said there. Will we see another attempted use of the Nidus Worm? Even if, I mean, even if he doesn't use it in the main base, even just putting it towards the front would give him, a, would negate yes. that defender's advantage. Really, really nice. Nidus Worm is coming there down is. here. Yeah, it's going over to the side, and it is slightly out of range. Of course, finding this Nidus Worm is going to be nigh impossible. Ghost user is not going to attempt to find it. Wow, 34 roaches. I mean, Kane followed up this attack with a with a second all-in. I don't like the timing of this attack. His, uh, his plus one, one plus one. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he didn't wait for it. Ghost of User has some roaches. I mean, again, you can just do this push directly at the front. You don't need to spend this gas on the Nidus network. Yeah, I, I guess the only way you could really look at it, but we're going to get a surround here. That speed is not finished wow. for Ghost User, which allowed a brilliant concave here for Kane, which might very well be what it needs to actually break this. It's so strange that it went in without plus one, plus one, but I guess the reinforcements will have that. The flank comes in from Ghost User with a couple of roaches. It is not enough. Kane is able to take that, and reinforcements coming in here as well. The third base is looking to be broken right now, although his spine is doing an incredible job, having killed six roaches already in this engagement. This was definitely not as good for Kane as it should have been, and the reinforcements coming from Ghost it's User might so hold close. this. It's so Plus close. one, plus one is in play. Oh, there it is. The one-one is going to be tremendous, especially when those links pop out, and it looks like Ghost User 
has yet again done the unthinkable and held it off. You know, I didn't like that timing. I mean, he has yeah. not had enough roaches to exploit this 1-1 one, one edge. It's better to wait for the 1-1 one, one there. Ghost user, absolutely brilliant choice to get those lings up. He needs some way to abate this pressure, some way to chase these roaches down, and it looks like he will be able to pick off some additional roaches as Kane is trying Ooh. to get at a good angle around the Nidus network. Oh my god, is Ghost user actually going to pull this defense off? He is. Kane's engaging at the worst possible angles he could. He did not take the roaches into the Nidus and bring them in that way. He brought them from the side, which meant they appeared piecemeal. And as a direct result, Ghost user now has a wow. ridiculous wow. economic lead. He's held it. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a blunder. I mean, that first attack was so good, but then you can follow up with the roach speed. You can begin droning behind. The reason having an edge on the speed is so potent is that you can drone behind it. Your opponent has to stay defensive with slow roaches because you can always be on the attack with the speed roaches. But Kane didn't do that. He tried to just flood 34 roaches and go for it. But again, as you said, Total Biscuit, defender's advantage. Exactly. It keeps coming in. And if you don't use the Nidus to negate that, if you don't bring your reinforcements via the Nidus and you just bring them in and rally them across the map, that is not good use of a Nidus Worm. Mm-hmm. I can't say it any better than that. I mean, the Nidus network is just a transport mechanism. It doesn't do any additional damage. You must have the units to back it up. Ghost user is in all-out panic mode. He is flooding nothing but roaches, and it looks like... It looks like this push is going to be big. TD, yeah. he's going to have 54 roaches. Good lord. Kane should not fight here under any circumstances. He needs to get back home. He will lose roaches as a result of these lings, but he does not want to stop. It's better to lose a couple of roaches on the tail end there than allow that roach force to actually fire and give yourself less time to get into a defensive position. Kane should not be taking this fight at all, and Ghostly User is going right in for it. I don't think oh Kane has a choice. He has God. led himself into this. Oh my God, Kane is going to be kicking himself after this game. Ghostly User, 42 roaches to 17. It's good GG. Game. What? Unbelievable! Gosu user with the win has tied the series up. It's going to game seven. Good God, Gosu user. And honestly, good God, Kane. Because that was Kane's game to lose. And he did. I mean, don't get me wrong, Ghost User held as best as you could have possibly expected. But there were some key tactical errors that led to that. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the biggest one is that he had the... He, was doing damage in the main base, um, was doing the smart thing, trying to pick away uh, at some of the buildings, could have maybe shot some additional drones at that expansion, but most significantly, I think that the the um, there was a minor error trying to knight us the main and did not the third, um, and then a more significant one, not harassing and droning after the success. And then it all culminated in the blunder of attacking with 1-1 one, one being 70% complete. It's just an absolutely brutal loss. Kane, 100% should be going for his Lingmuta style. All right, well, let's see if he falls back on his safety. He does have this one more game and it's his map choice. Ghost user must be feeling good. If he pulls the reverse sweep when he was down 3-0, then we can safely say that this guy is damn good at what he does. So, we will be going into the next game. We're not going to wait around. We're going to go right for it here. Ghost of User versus Kane goes to game seven. Belshia Vestige will be the venue for it. Oh, wow. What a game seven map. This is considered one of the... One of the... Uh, the map that tests your fundamentals the hardest. I mean, there's... The expansions are not super easy to defend. The attack angles, uh, there's there's two notable ones, so there's not really a center. The watchtowers change control quite a bit. Yeah. Very difficult. No question about that. I am I am really interested to see how this goes. I am concerned for Kane's mental state after that game. Like, he must have thought he had that one. Like, being able to Nidus the main and not have it be responded to for like three minutes? Oh yeah, with the spores going up. Wow. It was wow. a perfect opportunity. And he didn't he just did not get to play with it. And that sucks. Alright. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's make this happen. Game seven. Here we go. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Belshia Vestige. This will be the venue for our final encounter. It is 3-3. Between this guy right here, who started so well, who 
showed prowess, who made no mistakes in the first three games, and yet suddenly, what a role reversal. It is Root Kane versus his opponent, the hardened tournament veteran. The guy whose state of mind and experience may very well win him the day in the blue trunks. It is Millennium Gosu user. Holy hell, man. Didn't expect it to go this far. I mean, we were at a, a situation where we thought a 4-0 sweep was very likely. Yeah, I mean, and... And honestly, I, I was... I was just gonna be... I don't know, I'm like shocked. Ten, okay, listen Kane's, to me, I'm freaking uh, blown Gosu away. user is 10 pulling right now. An excellent decision. Gosu user, an absolutely excellent, excellent decision. He started to get a feel for his opponent in the midst of all these matches, and there's the gas going down. Is oh. he gonna go for the second extractor trick? I don't think he should. I think he should go for 10 pool speed. This, it's much more effective yeah. on this map. Oh, second one I'm, coming in. Are we gonna get the cancellation I'm, here? It is. I'm all right. not a fan of this. This is, this is a little dicey. The overlords, this first overlord will be able to see the zerglings coming. So Kane will know how to set up the appropriate defense. It is not yeah. as close as Neo Planet S. Yep. Zergling speed, fast zergling speed makes a lot of sense on this map. Look at how wide open the natural expansion is. The watchtower is very important to control. And there's Gosu use. Oh, Kane. Oh, Kane I, actually I, sees the drone. Yeah, I, he actually, he held up for a second there thinking, why is there a drone scout this early? Oh but God, he drones. went hatchery anyway. Oh yeah, there's drones behind this. Those user going drones? What? Now he should he should be getting a queen right now and no zerglings. That what? What is? What? I don't know what he's doing right now. He's faking. I mean, but that doesn't make any sense. Like even faking a ten pool, this spine is not going to go up. I mean, obviously it wastes a little bit of mining time, but mm -hmm. this is really strange. Now ten pool into queen expand queen. Is okay. is is a reasonable build. All right, uh, that is quite strong. Um, but the things you're never you're never you're never going to trick Kane here because he has an Overlord floating at your expansion and he yeah, goes and he oh, knows look, there's, there's no coming there. Yeah, I mean a, a, a very botched opening from from Ghost User. He's going to be behind on gas. He should get a little bit ahead and no 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 he didn't get the queen right off the bat. Yeah, I mean if you get the queen right off the bat, you're actually surging forward with drones, but. Yeah. Not in this a case. A blunderous no. blunder, yeah. Yeah, that was that was really odd. A couple of links coming in here are not really going to be a huge amount of a threat. There's no question that Kane will be able to clean that up. That was very, very strange. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to try and mind game your opponent in a Zerg versus Zerg like that when the yeah. overlords very clearly see inside your opponent's head. You, you know that this isn't happening. Wow, this is... This is just a, a very sort of baffling situation to be in as a Gosu user. Uh, I mean, we've talked a little bit about the sort of um, what could have been, but now in, in terms of the going forward, I, hmm, what do I think the best response is? Oop, Kane, Kane uh, not trusting himself as much, getting up the, the emergency spine crawler a little bit too preemptively. Gosu user, I think, is going to be able to stay fairly defensive throughout this. Yeah, and Gosu user just slightly behind in drones. Not really a big deal. The second queen is now up for Ghost user. Obviously a little bit slower there. And we did get, of course, the hatch lead there for Kane. So that will certainly help him. Ghost user does have a Baneling Nest on the way. Scouting information may not have seen that Baneling Nest, actually. Let's just double check that. No, he didn't see the Baneling Nest. I mean, he can obviously logically expect it. But even then, you know, it would be nice to confirm. Yeah, I mean, I think that at this point in time, you almost just have to assume your opponent is not going uh, roaches. If you're Ghost User, that is. Kane yeah. certainly has to sort of anticipate this. Nice cancel on his uh, spine crawler at the front. Yeah. I thought it was a little bit more preemptive than need be. And yeah. it looks like Kane, Kane decided to uh, agree with himself. <laughs> Always a good person to agree with, I tend to find. Otherwise, you don't get much done that day. <laughs> Crap, sorry, my mic cut out. Sorry, I, I lulled, but uh, as you can hear, my neighbor has decided to start banging on drums, so all of a sudden it's going to get really loud. Oh, this tournament, this tournament. We're seeing a large link surge right here from Kane. Defensive Bane Link's coming into place right here from Gosu User. Gosu User also put himself in a supply block situation for a little bit too long, whereas Kane was well ahead of him, and has now been able to get that surge, and that could make a difference here. 
I mean, All right, let's see how it goes. Quite significant, yeah. I mean, the, with, with the Roach Warren coming up from Ghost User, he, he's feeling the need to be defensive, but behind this, Rap Kane is Kane. just going to be throwing down uh, a layer. I mean, this looks like an all-in from Kane, but it is an opportunity to drone behind. This is to exploit a player who's been low on larva. He knows the hatch was delayed, and because the queen was delayed, there's almost no chance that there's going to be enough larva there. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. He ate one hit. Oh, a second oh. hit goes off. A lot of the Bane Whoa. lanes don't Go get there. Ah, one more hit. He hits the drones. That was not as good as it could have been, but he does destroy the natural pretty effectively. Oh, I mean, a brilliant response from uh, Kane. Kane acknowledging, wow, you're low on uh, larva. There's no way you can get both drones and lings up to be able to hold this off. So I'm going to use my larva advantage to overrun your front. And it looks like Kane has decided, I've won this game. He's going spine crawler. He's going roach warren. He is just going to play it off conservatively. He is not going to go for layer. He was a little bit too bold in the previous games. He is going to the exact opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah. Kane is in a great spot right now. He has a very clear drone lead over his opponent. His tech is looking good as well. Ghost user is not happy after that one. Very um, unhappy indeed. More links coming in. We'll actually get the surround of the roaches here as well, which is a horrible situation to be in. Ghost user is definitely not happy with himself. He may very well decide to give up at this stage. Oh, He's now lost all of the roaches as they get surrounded. And he's oh, GG. Oh, a heartbreaking so end for Gosu user who pulled the miracle comeback to tie it up. Oh, it's such it's such a heartbreaking end because I mean his drone went the wrong way, and then he decided, well maybe I should drone behind this ten pool. Maybe I should. Oh no, let me try to fake it. I mean, uh, that just you could see the meltdown happen right there. That was. I feel so bad for goes to user after that i really do don't get me wrong kane played a great series even though he kind of fell apart in the middle of it goes to user pulled, pulled such a comeback an incredible comeback that was that was heartbreaking it was and you could tell just even in his play you know you could tell that he was losing heart he oh man well such is the way of tournaments. Someone must lose, someone must win, otherwise we wouldn't have much of a competition. And Kane gets a chance to prove himself in New York for the Grand Finals. Wow, that is that is a real treat to see Kane there. I mean, Kane was talking a little bit about how he got fortunate in his game against QXC. He got fortunate in his last game here against Gosu User. But that 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 phrase only goes so far. Kane is there because he has been able to take down top player after top player of all races in incredibly difficult situations by thinking really flexibly. Yeah, he really, really did. He put on an exceptional performance. Ghost user, he's the kind of player that's going to beat himself up over this hard because he has more often than not said, you know, expressed the idea that he is really top shape in terms of the American scene. Like, and most people would agree with him on that one. They would say, yeah, you are one of the best American Zerg, if not arguably the best, at least in America. As, you know, if you don't count the Canadians, then yeah. Th there would be plenty people that would accept that assertion. And unfortunately, he has been taken out by a relative newcomer, and he got so close so close wow i mean gosu user ah uh, 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 god oh my heart bleeds for him so much i mean it does. i know I, I feel like even all the kane fans out there their heart bleeds for gosu user in that final match gosu user showed sensational game four brilliant build in game five an unbelievable defense in game six and just tripped up in game seven yeah uh, that was so strange as well because that temple would have actually worked. There were like two, maybe even three different ways that he could have turned that temple into something that would have genuinely put him ahead. And then he picked the one way that just didn't. It made no sense. I mean, that was not a build. That was a mistake. And Ghost User knows it. He says to the audience he's so stupid. And, you know, I, I don't agree that he's stupid at all. It's the kind of thing that everybody makes mistakes. Especially yeah. in a knife edge match. It comes down to the very last map. You know your opponent's been picking maps left, right, and center. You know your opponent's strong on this map. He makes... He just doesn't quite have it. I mean, 
doesn't quite have it just like my neighbor doesn't quite have a sense of rhythm no or, or a sense of pitch i mean i've never heard a drum be out of tune before but he has succeeded i know that is that is a very very harsh sounding drum what a discordant dissonant drum Ugh, gross like that drum, that drum should be a war crime sean well, apparently, it's actually a war chant, because we have a PvP coming up. Did you we see did. that segue? It happened live. Nah, that wasn't even planned or anything. You, some I, people that believe that... Slot. So, Apollo, as we know, has a book full of builds. Now, mm -hmm. I've heard that you have a book full of segues. Is that true? That is true, yes. It's actually a parchment. So that way, <laughs> I can just I can roll it, so I see exactly one line, and I roll it a little bit more. What I'm thinking of doing is chopping it up and throwing them in fortune cookies, and then that way, anytime it's time for a commercial break, you just open one up, open one up and you say it, and then you just eat. What a great <laughs> idea. Well, Kane is your first finalist. You know, I, I felt, obviously, that we did very much focus on the idea that, you know, Ghost of User kind of losing that last game, but we, we shouldn't really ignore the fact that Kane did play some exceptional, exceptional games, got a great engagement, had some great decision making. We, the middle of the series got a bit funky for him, but that last game, you accurately pointed out that he identified that his opponent had less lava potential, and we even saw, as the observers, the supply block come into effect for Ghost of User, and that was an exceptional performance from Kane. Now he gets to prove whether or not he is, in fact, the best in America, because he will be facing off against the winner of State and Minigun. It could be our all-route final, but State is not going to let that happen easily. He's put on a great performance so far. Minigun's looked a lot shakier. It's PvP. Anything could happen. We'll find out after this break as we go into the pregame face-off interview. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Shoutcraft America, the semifinals cast by myself and Day9. We will be right back.